what I think the mindfulness of Jesus has to be about is seeing the world through the eyes of a disciple, a mm -hmm. Jewish disciple, to understand as a disciple. The thing that is here, I keep hearing is our, our love of mindfulness tends to be without, uh, one is that Christians that I know tend to do that without a knowledge of scripture. And Jesus had this incredible expectation. He spoke in scripture. He's quoting it all the time and he expects his disciples to understand it. But he's bringing the scriptures to pass and he's using these difficult and sophisticated. I mean, he's pulling out scriptures everywhere. And I think being the mind of Christ, I think, is not just introspection. It's not just feeling awe. It's actually digging deep and then loving his God, um, which I think Christians tend to like, oh, I only like the New Testament. I don't love the God of Israel. Um, those are things that I think are so essential. If you want to think like a disciple, you need to love the God of Israel and see Christ as the walking embodiment of the God of Israel. I've been quite fascinated with that the Torah itself was incredible. It had incredible news for the people of its day. You have to understand the people of its day, but then mm -hmm. the laws are like, wow. And then Jesus is building on that. He's constantly using it to teach. And everything he says, even with all of his authority, with all of his divine authority, he still is building everything out of his Bible. And we, if we are, so that's part of, I would say those things are more important than we realize. And simply being mindful in terms of looking into my, mm. looking into me, I think is, um, it feels good, but I think that we need to, need to look outside ourselves into our okay. scriptures and to Amen. Christ Amen. in his world. And, um, uh rather than only into our um belly yes. buttons <laughs>